So I had a talk last night when I checked in or when I moved in with uh, the landlord and my neighbor. And they're so sweet, they offered to cook me food. And I actually didn't get it last night, but I'm getting it right now. starts tomorrow so yeah some stuff for um the home and we're gonna see what we can find this guy has like two huge bags of h&m loves it what the f is he a personal shopper it's like five huge bags of h&m in the car yeah so yeah i'll show you guys around some shopping in, in turkey i think the first thing i'm gonna do right now is go get some coffee because i just i couldn't even like yell at people in traffic today i'm so tired So I'm super excited to be taking you guys shopping with me because I realize that people really do be out here thinking that Turkey doesn't have malls or normal stores and it's just like bazaars in the sand with men with parachute pants and fez hats. I also wanted to show you guys the prices, just like the price comparison from shopping in Turkey as it is in the United States. The malls are gonna be more expensive, but if you wanna get deals living here in Turkey or just visiting, your best bet is to go to the markets only because you can bargain a little bit. So stick around for the end of this video. I actually found after doing all of this shopping in person, a place that has the cheapest prices for everything that I was looking for. And so I will show you guys that. So this first store, Evadia, I don't really know how to pronounce it, Evadia. I love it because Ev means home in Turkish and idea. And that's exactly what it is. It's a shop to find home decor inspiration. You can probably compare it to bed bath and beyond in the states so i decided to go high bun today so yesterday it was pretty much like window shopping and now i'm so now i'm gonna try to uh, go make my purchases right now i'm at this store it's called coach and it's adjacent to home depot i need just like seating on my balcony so when i tell you i gravitated toward this store it's giving very much home depot and i pretty much grew up in home depot so for me orange represents construction and so without even understanding the language i can already tell from the branding of this store that it's a construction store i love love going to stores in different countries because it's one of those things that just brings you back down to earth. It's very wholesome. It's very universal. Everyone shops. It just brings a slice of normalcy back into my life when I'm traveling abroad. I don't need to stop matching things when I go out, by the way. This is only 329 lira. But is it that comfortable? They're only small. By the way, my place is already fully furnished, so I'm just shopping for accent pieces and things to just make it feel more like home. So I am all about good energy and like feng shui to just be productive and be happy in your life. And so a couple of things on my list was like good lighting. I need the good bright, bright lighting. And I kind of want to get like blue lights for my room. So that's like a necessity. I mean, are you not a basic bitch if you don't have like a white furry rug? And it's only 219 lira. Jeez, I didn't expect that. It's nice. It's very light. It's good for a short term apartment.
sure I spent no less than two hours in there and I got three plants and hangers because like you, you like you can always use hangers and my bun held on for dear life by the grace of God but it's falling apart now so and it's only my first store so I came over to Tech Zen, which is another like home goods, home furniture store. So I'm hoping in Tech Zen, I will find, what am I hoping to find? Oh, I didn't get string lights. I'd like string lights for my patio, but um, just see like what they have, you know, we're shopping around. I know we're not supposed to be, I was supposed to be buying today, but that's a joke. And I just want to see like what kind of like furniture they have. I'm looking for something like a comfortable chair. So we're gonna see what we find in Tech Zen for sure it's much less crowded hmm. ideally i would get this umbrella but it's just too large okay so i feel like texan is more like budget and arts and crafts and furniture that type of thing it's not as like a, much of a giant as koshash so here are the lights so that was a complete fail so i'm about to go back to the mall now and revisit the like design Doors. This nose ring has got to go, y'all. It is just so long, it looks like a book. Uh, oh, I wanted to visit Yarjisha. I love that store. It's really expensive, but it doesn't hurt to look. I, I doubt I'll buy anything just because I know like what the other stores have. It'll probably have the same thing. It's just like expensive, but maybe I'll get inspired by something. Who knows? And also, yeah, I shouldn't go in there. Because <laughs> I'm like, they have cute clothes. Um, yeah, I shouldn't go in there. It's like super windy and it's getting freaking cold. Real like it's five o'clock. It's getting so cold. I feel like a storm is brewing, so I'm gonna try to get back to my apartment. Okay, go, go, go. So hopefully I won't be out much longer. And this is when Brittany's in her own little world and completely forgets that it is Saturday, but not only Saturday, it is Bidam Saturday. <sighs> only I would try to go shopping on Bidam Saturday in Turkey. I just be in my own little world. I don't even know what days it is most of the time, so it's gonna be annoying. Let's like say how beautiful this mall area is though. All right, so this is Yarjica. It's definitely a upmarket type of store, but they have such cute, chic, boho, trendy you know balinese type things and i guess you can say it's kind of like in upscale urban outfitters because they have home decor items but also like a essentials women's wear boutique not only do they have amazing interior design they have beautiful dresses oh my god this is so pretty <laughs> By the way, the malls here are called Ave May, which stands for Alishverish Merkeze. So anytime I'm looking for a mall nearby, I'll just type in AVM into Google. <sighs> so I came back to the, the cafe I was at yesterday because I don't know about you guys, but I need to shop with wine. Like I just can't make decisions, it's impossible. I came back and the hostess smiled at me and greeted me. And then the waiter came over and he said, one rose and I'm like, oh my God, I love this place. You know it's the right place when they know that you love rosé. So that is the aftermath of that. And with that being said, leftover wine. That's how you know you're about to be 30 when you put your leftover wine in the refrigerator from last night. Cheers! Traffic. Bye down Monday. Happy bye down. E bye down line. And I just finished getting my nails done. I keep forgetting like 
getting your nails done in Turkey is three hours. Get it's on. like that in Istanbul. Like I, I pardoned it because I love my girl and she like killed it. She just does such a thorough job. But dude, like, like I feel so bad that these people don't know what it's like to get fast nails done. Like I just can't imagine being raised like this, like growing up like this. Get <laughs> on. To get your nails done, you have to set aside three hours of your day, like not even including transportation there and back. Like you have to literally set aside a day. Get I on. remember I used to complain about nails being an hour long in America, like, oh my God. In America, you'll pay two, three times more, but you'll also save two, three times more of your time. Get out. Uh, the shit took so long, I had to reschedule my pedicure for tomorrow. Like I have to go back there now tomorrow. Get out. Because I just could not possibly do another three hours. Like genuinely, if you are with a friend or you want like a pedicure and a manicure, it's six hours total. Get out. Okay. <laughs> So I am on the way right now. I'm in Badam traffic because I am stopping by to get some sweets, some tatle, because my neighbors are having a barbecue and they just invited me when um, I was at the nail shop. You know, I didn't want to like ask, like, what should I bring? I'm just going to try to like roll with it and be and have them be impressed by me, hopefully. Like, I'm thinking you could, you should bring sweets, right? And then I'm like, oh, like, what are some good Badam sweets? I'm probably going to get like some baklava um, maybe like some kunefe. I was thinking like Izmir Bomba. It's like 200 meters and it's taking like 20 minutes. just going to pick up simple dessert it was a great time and you can't do anything here without gaining weight anything because they're so freaking hospitable that they just offer you everything like i got like five free freaking desserts and then i got roped into stopping for a drink at that irish bar which was a great time again <laughs> yeah. so once again Turkey one, Brittany zero, because now I'm late to the barbecue. I literally told this guy at parking that I'd be 10 minutes. I've been at least 45 minutes. Yeah, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you so much. Eat bad I'm live. We did it, guys. We did it. We did it. We're on our way. We're on our way to the freaking barbecue. So today is the day I'm finally turning in this freaking car and I had to make a quick stop to the grocery store because I still have nothing in my house at all. So came to Metro. Metro is an amazing, amazing place that I discovered in Istanbul. It's like the supermarket that I'm used to, like Walmart and um, Costco's and things like that. Um, it's here. It's so crazy, the little things as an expat that just make you feel some type of way. And it just really was a special moment in my life when I discovered this grocery store. So let me just show you guys. Well, it wouldn't be turkey if they didn't have like a mobile food bar. So we have bikes for staying a lot here. Mm -hmm. all right so this is metro mega wholesale market already you can tell that it is similar to costco's or sam's club however it's not exclusive to members it's open to the public but as you can see they have everything from shoes sporting goods electronics groceries and it's just so refreshing to be able to have a one-stop shop like this in turkey where more often you'll see smaller supermarkets like migros or care for and as you see they have this nice huge alcohol section we can get some good deals it was actually heaven when i discovered this store because my first few months in turkey i really believed that i had to go to like five different shops just to make my normal necessities run epic they have a whole meat section 
it's cold as hell. They have a white cheese section. Those are all the white cheeses. Just the white ones. Can you believe it? This whole thing is just the white cheeses. They even have a fast lane where you can take your cart. So after all that, all that running around, all that shopping, this is what I end up doing. <laughs> um, so this is trendy all. This is like the Turkish mix of like Amazon and eBay. It's unreal, you guys, seriously. They have all of these different types of brands. I didn't even know they had a Pecule. Oh my gosh, I love Pecule. Anyway, the prices are just insanely cheap. Like it's like unbelievable. When I was shopping, I took note of the exact items that I wanted like in the store that I saw. And I then looked them up on Trendy and they're like one fourth the price. It's wild. I'm looking at clothes now, but um, they have like everything from clothes to furniture. Anyone can use this site. My experience has been really easy. I recommend when shopping to use the Turkish translation and search like that. Also keep in mind large purchases will require a Turkish residency number. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed coming shopping with me in Turkey and I will see you in my next video.